In this video, we're going to be talking about column addition and subtraction. So for our first example, we're going to have 6093.4 plus 2135.71. So like with the name, uh, like with the name suggests, column addition, we require to use the columns that we do in place value. So the 6093.4, the six is in the thousands, zero in the hundreds, nine units, three is the, sorry, the nine is the tens, the three is the units, and the four is the temps. And when we're adding, 2135.71, we need to include the hundredths as well. So we set it up like this got one number above the other, we've got our plus sign showing we're using addition, and we've got the numbers laid out in their columns. So we move from right to left. We start in the hundredths. The gap here means it's a zero. We've got zero hundredths for the top number. We're just going to put that in there just as a placeholder. So zero plus one is one. Four plus seven is 11. So we're going to carry the 10 over and put a one there. We have our decimal point. Three plus five plus one is nine. Nine plus three is 12, so the two goes in the tens column and we're carrying one over. Zero plus one plus one is two, and six plus two is eight. For our next example, we're going to do a subtraction. 3,000, sorry, 39,260 subtract 16,017. Like with the addition, we're going to use the columns. So we have 10 thousands, thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. And this time we haven't got any decimal points. We haven't got anything past the decimal point. So the top number, 39,260. 16,017. We're going to put a subtraction sign to show we are taking the number away. Now, like we did before, we're going to use these columns to help us. So to start with, we're again starting on the right and moving left. And we've got zero, subtract seven. But we can't do that. So what we do is we borrow one from the left. So the six becomes a five. And we stick it there. Now it's 10 subtract 7, which is 3. In the tens column, instead of having the 6, because one of them has been borrowed over to the right, we now only have 5. So we have 5 subtract 1, which is 4. 2 in the hundreds subtract 0 is 2. 9 subtract 6 is 3, and 3 subtract 1 is 2. And this is our final answer. So the key things to take away is to make sure everything is in the correct column, and you start from right, and you go left. 